Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T. And today I am going to be sharing with you my first make for the series of tops that I am going to be making to fill the gaps in my wardrobe. And so this first top that I've made is Simplicity 8878. And also throughout this video on the clips and on the photos, you'll see where and how I paired this top with some wide leg paper bag pants that I actually made back in 2019 and I used Simplicity 8605 for that so um, obviously this video is not about the pants but I just wanted to let you know that it is a Mime garment as well. So when I realized that I needed to get some tops made one of the decision making factors on what style to sew up were styles that were going to be forgiving, um, not tight, but not super loose. I wanted it to be trendy and I want the tops to also be easy to sew because I do not have time for a ton of pattern pieces. I do not have time for a bunch of linings. I just want something, like I said, to be cute, trendy, and easy to sew. So I picked up this particular pattern, 8878, Simplicity 8878, because I had a Berta pattern that was very similar to this. And I really liked how the Berta pattern was, and it's actually Berta 6233. And I felt like this would meet all the requirements, but I decided against this because the directions were just very vague and I didn't want to mess up my fabric on something so simple. I did not want to make a muslin, a maca, whatever you want to call it. I didn't want to do that. So I went on a hunt to find a top, a pattern that was similar. And then I came across Simplicity 8878. And I really, really, really liked how it looks on the model. And I liked how they used a lightweight denim on her as well. So the fabric choice was good. And so I decided to pick it up once I, you know, went on that hunt and, and found it. And I picked up the same type of fabric that the model was wearing because I just had loved that look. And I knew I had these pants that I could match up with it. So that's the story behind how I picked out this pattern and why and so now I'll kind of go off into the review of the pattern so you can kind of know what to expect what not to expect with the pattern so again this is simplicity 8878 and I made view D and the pattern description is Mrs. Dresses and Tops and it's titled there's like a title on the pattern that says the simple shift because it's more of a box cut which is like a shift dress you know if it were longer there are four different views on this pattern and two views are dresses which are views a and c and the other two views are tops which is going to be views b and d and the sewing level is not determined on this pattern um, i couldn't find it anywhere but i would say that this is a very beginner friendly pattern very beginner friendly and i i just in very very easy to sew up i love it so the pattern pieces that's included within this pattern are 10 there's 10 pattern pieces included within this pattern um, but I only had to use five pieces to make my top and those pattern pieces included the front, the back, the sleeves, the front facing and the back facing. Simple enough. You really can't get many patterns that have fewer pattern pieces for a simple sew. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, the notions that you need is going to be your thread and that's it. Um, the suggested fabrics. For this pattern is going to be your chalet, your chambray, cotton types, crepe, linen, shirtings, and silky types. So you get a good wide variety of fabric choices that are recommended. And then the pattern sizing is extra small through extra large. And the size that I cut was a large and it feels and looks like the perfect fit in my opinion. I, I think this sizing was spot on. I do think it looks like 
what the model is wearing on the pattern cover and you can be the judge of that I will put it picture side by side and you can let me know in the comments below <laughs> the instructions were very easy to follow and there really wasn't anything that I disliked about the pattern except for I didn't like that the length of the shirt was just kind of it looked a little cropped to me and because of that I ended up lengthening the shirt or the top by two inches what I did like in particular, the things that stood out to me in regards to this pattern was I like the boxy style of the shirt. I like the drop shoulder detail. I like the wide hems, which um, they're all two inches wide, actually two and a quarter. Um, I also like that there are no closures meaning your zippers or buttons, button plackets, things like that. And I also like how easy it goes over the head. So even though there's no closure, it goes over the head just fine. So you have no issues with that. And the one other detail that I really, really liked about this shirt is the boat neckline. I mean, a lot of times you see these in knits, but I really, really, really like this boat neckline. The only thing that I would advise when it comes down to recommendations or modifications for this pattern is to add length to the top if number one, you don't like shorter tops or number two, if you have a larger bust. Because with me, because I have a larger bust, whenever I put tops on, my tops raise up. So they're not as long as what they would look like on the models because a lot of times the models have a smaller bust size. So I just added the additional two inches to make sure that the top had the same look as how it was designed to look once I put it on my body. Um, the fabric that I used is a lightweight denim that has a lot of drape irons very well it's a very very nice fabric um, it's very easy to sew with but it does move around a lot and it can cause a problem when making your hems because it moves and then it tends to bunch up so what I did to eliminate that issue after repicking <laughs> a couple of times <laughs> was I just went and to the pin cushion and I used a ton of pins around every area that needed to be hemmed to keep that fabric in place and I went really slow I did not go super fast at all I went slow and I also used my hand to just kind of guide the fabric along the top to make sure that it did not bunch up and just kind of just glided it through to make sure it stayed even so that worked once I did that I had no issues with the fabric punching up so the key would be if you use a fabric that is not um, that is more of on the silky type or that moves around a lot you just need to use a lot of pins so I purchased this fabric at Joanne fabrics and I purchased this a while back when I actually purchased this pattern so it's been in this stash for a while but I purchased the fabric specifically for this top I would definitely recommend this pattern to others it is just like I said such an easy sew and you get such great results so this is a number one on my end and you know I typically don't sew a pattern more than once I've only done that once so far and that's because you have so many patterns so many choices or at least I do I just want to move on to the next but I think this is going to be a pattern that is gonna stick around on my sewing table for a while because normally once I felt sew something I throw it in the tote as used and I don't throw them away because you never know if you want to go back to it but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put this in that tote because I, I think I want a couple more like this, at least a black one and maybe a white one. As far as accessories are concerned, I did not wear a necklace because I wanted everyone in my pictures to see the beauty of this neckline and I didn't want to disturb that because I thought this, you know, be, with this being something different from what I normally sew, like my dresses and jumpsuits, I just wanted everyone to kind of see it without any distractions. 
So now I will enter clips and pictures to show you more of this top paired with my denim pants that I made using Simplicity 8605. All right, everyone, so that is it for my first top of several that I am going to be making to fill the gaps in my closet. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you liked how my top turned out. If you did, go ahead and click the like button and leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. Did you like the top? Do you like the boat neckline? Do you like the denim fabric? How do you like the top stitching? I use like an off-white top stitching to just kind of make it pop. Let me know your thoughts on that. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to all my new and returning subscribers for hanging with me. I truly appreciate your support and if you are not already subscribed, please make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe chat button and hit the gray notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!